Treating our patients like their family has two important reasons why we need to walk our talk. The first one's pretty obvious. It's obvious because we know that if we are treating our patients as if they were a family, we are going to give them exceptional care, right? That's how we treat our family. And that's pr- we would give them the health. They're going to be healthy. They're going to be great. They're going to be taken care of. But the second reason that it's so important for us to treat our patients like family is something that is sometimes so often overlooked. And that is the health of us. The health of us as their health care providers. The healthy career choices and paths that that creates. The health in our satisfaction level of knowing that we are delivering the very best care that our family member deserves. And when we have the health of us in mind, we will continue to not have burnout. We will continue to self-serve our our patients and ourselves with the very best that is out there. So there's two mindset changes that I'm going to give you that I used and that I hope that, that you can take home on Monday to either serve your patients or share with your clients so they can also be that healthcare provider and not that mouth made. Number one, every time, every time you see a patient, you have to match your treatment and service recommendations to the, to the disease that they present. No more sugarcoating it. Make sure you are matching your treatment to their disease. Number two, make sure that you are thinking as a good health care provider. You're a good news provider. You're not having bad news. You have the answers, right? That's why we go to CE credits. That's why we take all this time and we have all this, this um, investment. It's so that we have the right answers, the best answers out there. You are a good news provider. And the story where both those worlds for me came together, both those mindset shifts came together, was when I was at my office, and I had my office manager come up to me, and she said, Jamie, Mike's wife called, and she would like you to call her back on your next break. Now, I didn't know Mike's wife. Mike was the only family member that came to see us. But I had seen Mike earlier in the week. So I call, and I say, hello, this is Jamie from Harris Dental. So Jamie, you don't know me, but I'm Mike's wife, Stacy. And I wanted to let you know that Mike had open heart surgery today. The doctors came to the waiting room and told me that he was recovering fine. But they also told me, I want you to know that whatever hygienist it was that refused treatment on him in the chair earlier that week because of his blood pressure being sky high saved your husband's life. And Jamie, something else you may not know about me is that I am a stay-home mom of six young children. And if anything would have happened to Mike, I do not know what me and my six children would have done. I do not have a college degree. I do not have a career. So thank you for saving Mike's life, but thank you for saving the future for me and my family. That is how we save lives, one mouth at a time.